Lack of lubrication is one of the most common causes of failure in an industrial fan. So most of the time you receive a fan, it has bearings on it, and the bearings often will look like this. Now they may not be this big, they may be smaller, but they're, the bearing is within the bearing housing. It's already been pre-greased at the factory, so we've done this, we've enclosed it, and this is what you receive in the field. Setting up your bearing maintenance routine to have regular lubrication is critical to keeping your fan from failing. So. What we've done here is we've got a grease gun, we've loaded it with mobile Ronex, so this is an NLGI number two lithium based grease, and we're going to show you what it would look like to grease your fan on a regular maintenance routine in the field, and then also if you do have a situation where you have to install a bearing on site and put it in, how you would pack a split pillow block bearing like this one, or how you would initially grease a solid pillow block bearing. And we'll pull a couple more bearings up onto this cart when we do that. So Clint here is going to show us how to put the grease gun on the Zerk fitting right here and put three pumps of grease in this split pillow block bearing. All right. So he made sure he was completely over the Zerk fitting. He did three pumps of grease in there and you could see some leftover grease residue. So we just pumped this one with a little bit of grease, extended its life a little bit longer. Now you'll want to follow the IOM manual that you get from your bearing manufacturer and you want to grease it on that schedule. Centrifugal fans are high wear machines. They're spinning fast. A lot of times they're at the top of the rotation range that you're allowed to get to with these bearings. So you'll definitely want to consult your IOM right away. We've seen situations where customers thought they received bearings and well, these are pre-greased at the factory. They should run for quite a while. Sometimes you'll find you need to grease them twice a week, once a week. Make sure you check that right away and you don't run them too long and get dry and you can have a big time failure. So if you did have a failure, I'm really sorry. This is how you assemble your bearings. So you get your bearings set in here You've got it, it's dry at the moment, so Clint's going to show us how you would pack grease into this bearing. We take our uh, automatic grease gun and we actually, in the sides of the block next to the bearing, we fill both sides up to the top. And we also take our pointed end on our grease gun and we'll put it in this little opening. And what that does is that actually gets lubrication, grease, into the bearing itself. So we'll pack the bottom, we'll put the zerk there, and we'll actually spin the shaft while we're putting grease in there and watch for it to come out of both sides all the way around. Okay, so we're going to fill the bottom half of this cavity up with grease? We pack the side corners full up to the top. And then down at the bottom where this bearing sits, it's actually raised up off of the block We'll also put some grease down there too. So there's two things we're doing. We're filling this cavity down here and then we're physically putting grease in through this hole right here so that it comes out both these sides? Yep. Okay, and then what about, what about these bearings? Where you've got, this one is an imperial style and it has an open side and this one is a ball bearing style. How would you, uh, pre-fill these bearings? These come from the factory with some grease in them but there is a chart that we follow where it's the same thing with the zerk there we'll take the gun push it onto the zerk and put our necessary amount of lube in there. Okay so what do you how much do you put in until you know you've reached your necessary amount? By the chart. Okay and on these you can actually grease them until grease comes out the seals, right? You could, yeah. All right. So, depending on what type, there's different ways to grease them. What about mixing greases, Clint? Would you ever want to mix these grease? No. All right. <laughs> so, if you, have, if you have a grease in there and you need to get a different type, what do you need to do? You would need to purge all that out of there, take the bearing completely apart, wipe it down with cleaner, and put your correct grease in. All right, so mixing grease can have really bad consequences. I don't recommend it, no. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh -huh.